Tulsa, Oklahoma. All right, well, welcome back. We just got through doing one of them Sierra Nevada beer cams. This is the Atlantic style vintage ale. And it is an English style ale blah, 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 brewed with plums. And juggle, juggle these plums, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuller's Brewery. And don't buy. I mean, don't waste your goddamn time. I mean, there might be a few people like it, but for the majority, don't get that shit. All right. So this is an older beer. I got this when I was in Tulsa uh, at Dead Armadillo. That's our nine band IPA, uh, six and a half percent, 90 IBUs. Uh, it's Pacific Northwest style. So I'll probably bitter it up a little more, being older. Yep. Got this from the brewery. All right. Smells a little piney. Kind of like uh, minty as well. Piney minty with a little flour. Yeah. Smells damn good. Kind of bitter off the front taste and smooths out to a good uh, grainy flowery finish. And for 90 IBU, it's not... Not harsh. Not kicking, not dry. 6.7%. I do believe a four pack of pints was running you about 10 bucks. Somewhere around there. You're not getting alcohol taste. You're not getting a very dry finish. I mean, it's got a good kick right off the front. You're going to get that very flowery, grainy taste, good kick off the front but it finishes out pretty smooth not too dry it's leaning kind of a kind of a fruity sweetness but I cannot pinpoint the, the fruit uh, strawberry maybe a peach like right on the initial hit and what kind of hides it is the uh, little the pineiness kind of hides that fruitiness oh man a little pine. Yeah. and I've had this can for coming up on three weeks not just Maybe that. a month. When was the can date? Let's see. Doesn't say. I got this when I was in Tulsa last, so that might have, you know. Then I, I put the can on. I could, I could tell you exactly when I got it. I was up in Tulsa visiting my friend uh, Josh, and I took a picture, you know, when we were hanging out, so I can just go to the details. Um. Uh, July 8th. And it so, is. It's been a while. About a month. Yeah. Well, July 8th, you're no, actually almost, two days off two months. Almost two months. Yeah. You're within seven six days. days, seven days, or two months. And I mean, it's, it's, it's damn good flavor as it is. Give that nice, sharp taste off the front to that flowery, grainy finish. Not too dry. It's actually a really good IPA. Yeah. Uh, this is going to make Jesse say fuck you. Uh, I'll be in Tulsa in a month at the Harvest Beer Festival. I'm done with this video. And I know I'll see you guys there. I know I, for a fact I will see you guys there. So, the hell, the hell off me. Isabella. He did. I'll be seeing you guys there, definitely. Can't wait to see what you guys have to offer. I hope and wish I could see you. Now, if it's last second, am I going to be too late to get a ticket to go to this motherfucker? No, you can actually get a ticket there at the door for 45 bucks. I hope, I hope, but I doubt it. I hope, but I doubt it. It's my job as a fucking bitch, and I hope that Tinker comes through because Eaton Corporation sucks cock. Do I need to get the lead? Oh, no, fuck them. Okay. What are you doing? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. No? Yes. Yeah? No. Yes. <laughs> we get sidetracked. Yeah, this is the IPA. For being, you know, coming up on two months old, no, no, no telling how long it was actually in the brewery. You know, a couple weeks maybe. I really like it. 
It is good. Easy drink. I put all that extra footage at the end of the video. This is just going to be for the actual review. There was a lot of footage. <laughs> a little bit. Good, nice, flowery, piney. It's a good finish. Not too dry. No. Great taste. Not too bitter. I mean, no. it, it does say it's like 90 IBUs. Um, I'm not getting that bitterness. I was going to say, I'm not getting that bitter. I'm getting some bitter, but I'm not getting what you would think of a 90. Yeah. It's a good drink. Mm. Now, Dead Armadillo, if you guys are watching this, New England style, Northeast style, whatever you want to call it, the juicy IPAs that everybody loves. Um, I'd love to see you make one and can it. Uh... You hit it. Haze. We will guarantee we'll get it and review that shit. Hazy. Everybody's doing these hazy IPAs. And the thing is, it, it might be a gimmick to some, but that is one of my favorites. Um, so if you can do that, I will be very happy. So. I chose these pins. I'll spin. Uh, one second. Uh, this is a Pacific Northwest style. There you go. I give it an eight. I said nine and a half. I honestly really like it for the six point seven percent easy drink. I think it's really good. It is a good IPA. There you go. We'll see you.